Hello everybody, tis I the Rumpled One. How I Found Freedom in an Unfree World by Harry Brown. A Handbook for Personal Liberty. You know, it's real interesting that in the land of the free, we don't feel so free. Why is that? Well, in part one of the book, why you are not free. But let's start off in the beginning here. Freedom in an unfree world. Freedom is the opportunity to live your life as you want to live it. Think about that. It's the opportunity. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed, it's opportunity. The opportunity to live your life. That's your life, not my life, not somebody else's, but your life as you want to live it. It's a powerful sentence. I'll read it again. Freedom is the opportunity to live your life as you want to live it. Now, you know, the forefathers said, uh, you know, something about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Your life, your pursuit, your happiness. But it wasn't guaranteed. But, you know, this book is all about finding freedom in the world that we live in. And you have to think about it. You're living in America, land of the free, but you're not feeling free. I keep coming back to that. So, what do you have to do? I mean, is it possible? Well, yes, it's possible. He has some details in the book. But the thing is, it is possible. So, Harry says in the book, if you're not free now, it might be because you've been preoccupied with people or institutions that you feel have restrained your freedom. Now think about that. You're preoccupied with people or institutions that you feel have restrained your freedom. You see, in other words, you've given up some of your personal power. Because maybe you listen to what other people say, or, or you see what other people do, and you're not free in your mind. You know, there was that one song, Free Your Mind, and the rest will follow. You see, the freedom that you seek is already available to you. But Harry says it has gone unnoticed. And because of two reasons. One, you're unaware of the many alternatives available to you. You see, a lot of times people don't analyze the situation. They don't thoroughly analyze the situation. They think they only have one choice or the other choice. But you see, if, you, if there's ever two choices, then you're free to make the choice. Okay, and he says the other reason you're not free is because you've probably accepted without challenge certain assumptions that restrict your freedom. You know, firearms, for example, the right to bear arms. Second Amendment, right? They argue about that all the time. So, you know, in California, 
They have these gun laws that say you can't own a gun or you can't carry a gun. Well, that's just the law. You can carry a gun. You carry a gun all you want. Now, if you're caught carrying the gun, well, then you might have to suffer the consequences. But the reality is, you can still carry that gun. You know, you might want to keep quiet about it, keep it hidden, don't let anybody know you got it, but you can carry it. And see, that's what Harry talks about. See, there's certain assumptions. There's certain alternatives that, that you know, you're, you're just not aware of. You haven't thought it all the way through. So, I'm going to be coming back to this book and a few others. And, um, you know, once again, go to your library, check it out. If you like it, buy a copy. Or if, if it sounds like something you should own, you know, I'd say go out and buy it. In fact, I, this is the uh, 25th anniversary edition. You know, I bought the paperback. I think I bought the first copy back in 1986, 87, somewhere along there. So I've owned it for a real long time. So, people, you can find freedom. Just have to make the effort. You know, life is choices. Choose wisely.